good, my anime faithful. What is good, yo? Don't judge me, I have completely forgotten how to play this game, so I apologize ahead of time. <laughs> but let's get right into Rimaru. My god, it's been too long, my slimy brother. Um, this week's episode all took place in a dream. Well, this OVA all took place in a dream, I should say. Um, knowing that we're going to get a season 2 soon, I'm kind of glad they didn't do any little teasers or anything like that. That if you miss this, you don't get an understanding of like a little bit of what season 2 is going to drop. Um, somebody did that. Uh, it was 7 Deadly Sins with a thing called the approaching holy war or something or signs of a holy war and it wound up being something that if you didn't watch you kind of missed out on a build up to part of something that was coming in the future and i thought that was a very weird way of going about things so at least now um it's getting to the point where it feels like there's an under oh that looks sick that's some rumoru stuff right there i told you um it's getting to the point where we just i just want the show back so bad that if it did have some of that stuff in there i would probably have to make some weird predictions and calculations on what was going on but since this was such a contained episode and it was chill i just get to tell you about the chill stuff and that we got the chill um with sumo and with him wanting to sleep being the big thing in the beginning of this whole entire start of it and the whole sumo being a dream um they really took some shots at a show called k show um it's a show where you straight up just there's a sport that everybody knows you for or knows all the ladies for more or less and because they do this sport it is um very important that you know the rules of this sport and the rules are the only thing you can use is your butt and your your chest to bump people off of the ring and that's how you win so when Rimuru's like okay and this is when the nation that I had created was fall falls in love with sumo but only the butt sumo you know like it it straight up felt like a call uh call out to K K Keijo <laughs> and I was dying I was like wait there's an actual nation and country that does this somewhere in your anime like lore of you know places that if if anime could all go in this like if they all existed on the same plane of existence and sure they they're like they all supposedly quote unquote live on earth or whatever but if they could somehow all still coexist together that he would straight up have gone to keijo and be like and this is what we created this right here keijo Everybody, all the ladies playing butt and chest uh, sumo, <laughs> and they're they're worshipped for it. Like they're treated like actual celebrity superstars for doing this. So it's not it's not too far out of the norm to be like, yeah, this is actually what they be doing. So we'll see, we'll see what they do with this. I mean, it was a dream, so. I don't think we'll ever hear about this again. It was like the best way to tell you. It's a filler within a filler. Um, I mean, you got characters kind of acting out of character when it comes down to the or uh, the ogres or the orcs. Yeah, I think they're orgers where they want to like kick off the heads of their opponents during sumo. But you got to remember these are just like your friends and people that you've been living with all this time. So to be kind of disappointed that you can't just jump and kick someone's head off that you probably have been working with all this time it's kind of weird on this part right like you wanted to do what to your friends <laughs> you know like you wanted to do what to your neighbors that's kind of messed up dog um but yeah overall this is why i love the show so much these characters these overall funny moments i want to say there was a crap ton of fan service which isn't normally the thing i mean there is a lot of fan service i'm not going to say there wasn't any but it wasn't so 
much more dedicated as these episodes, uh, these OVAs were, which this was OVA 1, and for some reason we got episode 2 first, I don't know why, um, but I know I got a lot of hate for putting it as episode 1, not knowing it was really episode 2, when everywhere that anybody watched it, it said episode 1, <laughs> so, anyway... This episode was hilarious, um, seeing the girls go all out it, and then seeing some of the guys kind of give us hints more on who they're actually looking forward to, to maybe date, or to see in these, you know, sumo outfits and whatnot, um, seeing my favorite girl, the quiet, uh, cra like, handy, handy girl who can actually cook, um, seeing her in the sumo and seeing how people were reacting to her was hilarious, I mean... I'm pretty sure the same thing would have happened, and I feel like she grew a little bit, right? Like, she grew a little bit in the bus area. She didn't seem like she had that much going on, unless the clothes she just wears is just very, very, um, uh, I didn't, I, I want to say, I was going to say secretive, <laughs> like it's hiding the stuff, but it's just, um, compacting it. It's keeping it looking a certain type of way, unlike our horn girl who accidentally rips someone's clothes with her horn even though she was pretty much talking about it at first she's like oh if i use my horns to poke somebody does that count as cheating and stuff and she winds up doing it and she feels really bad actually about doing it so that was interesting um but yeah the of course our two top candidate girls were left over to do the butt part of the sumo wrestling and it ended up being huge in the dream world of Rimuru. <laughs> so I think he knows what not to do because it just might happen. I don't I don't know if the people are too far off from his dream world, right? Like they're not that much different from what he expects them to be. So yeah, I'm interested in seeing what you guys are thinking about all of this. Are you just ready for some reincarnated as a slime to come back in 2020? Because we're only one month away, but I don't remember the actual date, if it's January or if it's like, um, or if it is actually going to be like February, March, you know, something later in the new year, but not not the first month, not really sure on that, but we will definitely see, and if you enjoy Rimuru, if you enjoy Slime, definitely be looking forward to seeing more of it on this channel, because it is by far... One of the things that helped my channel grow as quickly as it did, not only that, it gave me one of, if not some of the best uh, of my fans that probably are still here to this day waiting for me to drop something on Slime because it's just that good of a show, not to mention there's so much that hasn't happened in it that people that I was talking to are excited to happen that I just want to see happen to see them get what they wanted because a lot of them have read the light novel which no pictures no real like anything to give you uh like a, a sight visual on it you have to have a very good mind to be able to picture what they're trying to give to you and they even write into detail what the clothes look like what's on the clothes and that's where a lot of the details come from to make the animes in the case of oh he was wearing blue with some uh fur going across the collar of his shirt you know stuff like that is really detailed in light novels but if you're not into them it would be hard to um just pick up any light novel and just start reading it let alone being rimuru but i have done so and i've caught up to the point where it's just um where the story's at, so I don't, I haven't read any more, and I just can't wait, I can't wait, let me know if you're super excited for some River Road to come back, let me know if you are going to be binge watching the crap out of the old one, maybe, so just to see if you forgot anything, I really don't think you did, the show was relatively, uh, care, uh, not careful, it was very open and, uh, straightforward, is more like it, when it came down to giving us teases, giving us information that, could uh come along in the future instead of just kind of leaving us uh you know dead in the water for something to just pop up we even saw uh back in the time when Rimuru's human uh, body that he has now was still herself and uh, Shizuru 
and she got to meet somebody who's going to be the next big big problem for our character so it's stuff like that that makes you wonder uh, what they're gonna do with the characters if you're an anime only because all we did was get a little introduction of who, who he is what he's about what he can do and who he's already done stuff to and then he was gone right then it was over um, so we still got to see what he brings to the table. There's still a whole nother side of a nation that is kind of hunting down Rimuru, or at least is not for what he is. Um, so yeah, that time I was reincarnated as a slime. Please come back sooner than later. We miss you so, so deeply. And with all that being said, everybody, I hope you guys are having an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case you are watching this. Um, I don't know if this is going to be a popular video or a, a small video, but regardless, my subs, thank you guys so much. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Your boy's going to keep grinding as much as possible. Um, I will be dropping an update video out if uh, if anything bad happens to my scheduling. Like if I can't do daily stuff early and I got to do start doing daily stuff more towards the night, I will let you guys know because I will be working soon at a sub shop and because of that i'll probably be getting off around like 7 p.m uh, uh pacific time so if that does happen i'll let you guys know beforehand before it just this whole entire scheduling changes so it'll be like a very very quick video on uh little changes because i can't post anything in comments yet i think i need like a thousand subscribers or something so yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for the support. Your boy, the Anime G, is out of here. So with that being said, peace.